Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about the benefits of wandering aimlessly. Alright, so today I'm coming to you from Newbury, which is a really nice little city with a really good shopping district, and I'm out today doing a bit of Christmas shopping. I say I'm doing Christmas shopping, but really I'm just wandering around aimlessly. I have no idea what to get for anybody, and I never do. Every Christmas is the same thing. I'm just shuffling my feet, walking into shops, checking things out, and walking back out. And when I walk into the shop, somebody will say, can I help you find something? And I'm like, dude, I really wish you could. I don't even know what I'm looking for, right? And doing this kind of thing is better to do on your own because if you have other people with you, it's always like, why are you walking in there? Why are you walking in there? Because every so often, when you don't know what to get, when you don't know what's gonna work in terms of a gift, you'll find something that just really clicks, like it really works, and you never would have found it if you weren't just wandering around without any objective in mind, without anything to think about. It's a little bit like if you ever travel by yourself to like to a city, whether even if you just go out to a meeting or something and you have a bit of time before or after, you're just wandering around, it's much different than if you're with other people. If you're with other people, you have an agenda, you have things you're gonna do, but if you're by yourself, you just say, I'm gonna wander down the street and see if there's anything there. It, it could be, I walk down the street, I find a nice little shop or a nice little cafe, or maybe I'll find just a bunch of houses and I'm wasting my time, but you're by yourself, so it doesn't really matter and you can do that. This is why it's good to be an indie developer, because you have the ability to test things out and to wander around aimlessly and try different things. The downside of wandering around aimlessly is you could end up wasting a lot of time. The upside is you could find something that nobody's ever found before or that's not very well, well known or not widely known. And in the app store business, that's huge. I mean, finding, some, finding a niche that nobody else is capitalizing on, it means you can't ask somebody for advice on it and have them tell you which way to go because they'd be telling everybody where to go and sometimes they have to find this stuff on your, your own. And if you hire developers and you, you pretty much have to justify the expense, you have to think, I'm gonna try this because I think it's gonna work, which is cool, but if you're just an indie developer and you're tinker around, tinkering around with your own apps and you have a little bit of time, you say, I'm gonna raise the price on this, I'm gonna lower the price on this, I'm going to add a new keyword to the description, I'm gonna try something new and you don't have to clear it with anybody, it's, a, it's just a, a much better feeling and that, I think that in the end, that's how you get your apps to be successful. It's that ability to test and test and wander aimlessly and say, hey, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna change this little variable here and find out what, what happens, which not just in terms of app marketing, but is what coding is all about too. So anyway, I guess I better get back to the shopping. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow.